Hello there. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about uh, Unreal Engine 5.3 um, and its world petition uh, region region stuff. Um, essentially, uh, those new those new actors that were added to world petition landscapes um, that we see um essentially there is not much information out there on them and i thought i would kind of go through uh what i've been testing when it comes to generating landscapes um in world petition so here i've just got a blank new open world level which you would normally go here and click empty open world and it opens up this scene um once we've done that, you come up here to landscape mode and you are joined by various options here. So I have been playing around with these tests um, just before doing this video. And that is why I've got these settings set like this. So I'm generating 4K world petition um, landscape terrains. Um, I'm not importing from a file at the moment. I'm just doing this to show you um, kind of how these are sort of generated. Um, because some people might be playing around with these values and not getting what they expect or want. So if I just set it back to how it would be, um, you get your well petition grid size, well petition region size. Um, and you might be kind of just playing around with these and not getting what you expect. So I thought I'd go through three examples um, to show you kind of how they work. Um, if you were to go, just for example, if you were to just whack these numbers up here like this, what I found is you don't get anything. Um, you don't get a save prompt and then it doesn't uh, create you any regions just basically because these numbers don't work. So before you know we go into that deeper I thought I'd um, show you examples that do work and maybe the ones that you should stick with uh, and then you can work out what you need from that so before we go I thought uh, maybe I'll just show you this as well so I want a 4k landscape just as my example so I'm going to keep the 63 by 63 I'm going to go two by two sections I'm going to choose 32 by 32 that gives us a 4k well petition resolution which is different to standard 4k resolution due to the way that well petition works um, I can go into that in another video uh, but it's kind of that information's out there but I will do a video on that as well uh, so we have a resolution and we have a nice low amount of components uh, so our map will run smooth but so currently with this um, we would have you know uh, as you can see this uh, grid world petition grid size is essentially the proxies that are generated um, which are like the tiles that your map is broken up into so if you concentrate on the yellow line, if I just go in a smidgen, expand it here, we have our yellow line here. And as you change this, you can see the grid increasing or decreasing, depending on the value. Uh, and then you can see on this one, nothing's happening. So you have no visual representation at the moment of our regions, which I think they should add if they're going to bother with this um, so yeah there's that um, but essentially what yeah what this is is our region size is uh, sorry our grid size is our proxies that are generated so our tiles and then our region size is how many um, proxies go within a region a sense sort of yeah I think that's right I might be wrong visually you'll see what I mean so 
for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the whole thing and I'm going to go um, 16 by 16. So what this does is this generates um, each proxy, <clears throat> excuse me, will be broken up into 16 by 16 tiles. So if we were to count along here, um, so there's this uh, grid, we forget about the yellow lines, this is broken up into two sets of green lines. We have a, a light green one and then a faded dark green line. Um, the one that this number relates to is the lighter green line. So um, essentially if we were to count this, if I'm right in thinking, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which matches this number. So within our proxy, which is the yellow line, we have 16 of these squares. So it's a 16 by 16 square, which is what this value is within uh, our proxy that contains 16. So when we generate, which I'm going to click now because it might take a little while, it will ask us to save. I'm just going to call this test map 2 because it's the second test I've done. This should create a um, landscape setup with four proxies and four regions. And then I will show you um, what those regions do which I'm sure you've probably worked out by now and maybe already know this and I'm not teaching you anything new I'm just kind of going over kind of how you set these up uh, in the generation so if we come out of landscape mode and you can see here on the world petition panel you might not have that so I'm going to delete it and what you have to do is go to window world petition well petition editor and that will open up a uh, either a floating uh, tab mm -hmm. or a dockable or a docked tab sorry so now you have these four regions and what this means is if you were to drag over all of them or select each one you can load and unload those tiles so if I just select and load selected regions you can see all four of our proxies are loaded and these proxies I mean some people are complaining about them but I think this is kind of a good uh, a handy tool in a way um, as far as just you know before you would have to like you know lock in exactly what you want but if you're working on a big map obviously this is 4k so it's not too big but if you're working on like a hundred kilometer squared environment you can see that they're setting themselves up so that you have tools to be able to kind of plan it in advance so you can define these regions and and work on different areas so you know when you as the bigger these maps get the harder it is to work on them um, so you need to work on these maps in sections you can't have everything loaded um, due to PCs not being able to do that so this just allows you to you know if they weren't loaded uh, you could just be like okay I'm gonna work on this this one now um, and you can go in and do your edits on that region and everything that comes with it I assume you will be able to tie to these regions um, and do different different things later on at the moment you know there's not really any documentation on what they're going to be used for um, but yeah, that's kind of, you know, the point of them, it, you know, means you can um, load, you know, strange setups if you need to. Uh, so you can imagine if you have a grid with loads of these, you can kind of be like, okay, we're going to work on this section and you can start doing interesting, um, you know, 
designs if you wanted to do like a road or a track or something you can do it in the direction you want it so you can start seeing the the point of the tool so that's a that's a simple kind of uh, setup what I'm going to do now is actually start a start a new level an empty open world and I'm going to show you another setup if you want it to be well just to prove kind of what these numbers are I'm not going to change any of these uh, values what I'm just going to do is change this to 8 by 8 and then what this will create is essentially um, a 16 by 16 kind of configuration so you should have uh, if I just call this test uh, test map 3 you should have a 16 by 16 um, arrangement of proxies and regions um, so once this loads we'll have a little look I should have looked at the grid I should have shown you the grid beforehand but um, too late and essentially yeah as, as you like lower the number on the generation kind of the more the more you get in uh, creation or editor or however you want to view that but yeah so if you can see here if I load them all we have our um, 16 proxies and our 16 yeah sorry 16 uh proxies and our 16 regions controlling them so now you can control you know a smaller amount so you could see you know the purpose of what i was talking about earlier if we have these unloaded if it's like you've got a, a river to do you can you know come in and select the regions and just work on that stretch of river through here you know maybe you want to come into the landscape mode and um, do a do a nice sculpt in here which um, so you can't really see it very well because there's no light but you know if you wanted to just work basically if you just want to work on specific areas you can see that you can just do that that way and for some people on their machines that might be easier um, than you know having them all loaded your PC might not be able to handle it so this is quite a cool way of doing that um, but then if you know if you wanted to change this out again say you wanted more proxies for controlling how they stream um, you would just uh, you know have to configure it differently so if we go for another example uh, so as the final example uh, we're going to do if you want uh, a setup which is like um, 16 proxies controlled by four regions which essentially is just this setup which would be 8 by 16 uh, this just changes from the previous one so you have the same amount of proxies controlled by less uh, regions so you know if you want to stream four proxies at once um, this will probably be better on like a huge landscape depending on you know your cell size and how your player kind of moves with the environment and whether or not you want to load in uh, these cells on a smaller scale but you want to be able to edit them on a larger scale so yeah eight eight um an eight on the world petition grid size setting and a 16 on the world petition region size setting should give us I'm just going to override the test map pre place it uh, this should give us 16 proxies controlled by 
multiple regions. In theory. Sometimes these things just don't work. Okay, so we have our four regions. We load those all. I'm out of landscape mode, first of all. We have four regions controlling 16 proxies. There you go. So that's basically that. Um, and that just, you know, allows you to kind of work out how you can plan your larger environments. Uh, when you're working on them yeah hopefully that helped and good luck with your development